I'm so glad you came. It still hasn't hit me that you'll be gone soon. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. Gotta research schools, places to live. We're gonna be pretty far away from each other. You'd better. Keep your phone charged, okay? We're gonna be talking a lot. Especially since we'll be so far apart. Hearing your voice will help me feel better. By the way, um... A little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines. And that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. <laughs> it felt incredible. Oh, right. Vague did a special piece on me in this month's issue. I said it all in the interview, but... I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've gotta reach people. I wanna give someone hope, like you did for me. see me next I'll be a total big shot some kind of fancy jet setter lady or maybe not I swear I'm gonna become a great woman one you can't take your eyes off of so just wait for me okay Progressing toward opening its first look. Actually, I'll be involved with its launch, even while attending college. Yes, I'm not just rebuilding my company, I'm chasing my dream. It may be difficult balancing my studies and the company, but I swear I'll see it through. Besides, if I can do that, I'm certain I can run my own cafe. And that said, of course, it does make me a bit nervous. I have to wonder if it's really within my power. But as long as I have you, I have to ensure I'm worthy of your support and your pride. By the way, I tried making something for you. I'd like to sell handcrafted goods at my cafe as well. So this is the first step in my practice. I have my grandfather's reputation to think of after all. And my father's legacy. It has to be a comforting, welcoming space for everyone. Some place to spend your peaceful hours. When my cafe's ready to open, you'll be the first to know. I've already decided you're going to be my first customer. Busy. This is Aoyama Ikeo. No, I wanted to see you before you left. Train doors are now closing. Please stand. Won't be long until I'm living alone, too. We'll both have to get used to the quiet. Somehow it's easier to believe when I hear you say it. My sister and I are actually going to go look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. But nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. Of course, I'd never have gotten to this point alone. You gave me the push I needed. Back then, 
again? I was just another honor student. Meeting you helped me change how I define myself. So I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. And I hope it'll comfort you when I can't be there myself. It doesn't matter if we're far apart. Our hearts will be as close as ever. And that'll help me keep fighting. You're heading home tomorrow, I hear. It'll be a new start. You've got my blessing. Whatever that's worth. I recall the days when you helped me out with my speeches here. We'll be treading separate paths, but as long as we share a common purpose, I'm sure I'll see you again. If I've earned the support of an upright young man like you, well, that must surely be my greatest achievement. You expect farewells to be so sad, but here we are beaming. From now on, your life is your own to live. Now, I suppose I'd better send you off with a parting gift. It's an incredibly expensive fountain pen I bought back when I'd strayed from the right path. Embarrassingly enough, I hardly used it. I hope you'll put it to better use than I did. Whatever new chapters you write with that pen, I'll be watching for them. That's right. You'll be departing tomorrow. It's sad to see this as a season of farewells, but... I didn't expect we'd all go our separate ways. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. This time last year... I'd never have imagined I'd meet you all, leave my home, or become a phantom thief. Do you remember the painting I submitted to that competition? Desire and hope it was. Well, I would like to bestow it upon you as a parting gift. As of now, my canvas is still blank. It's not for lack of inspiration. There's so much I want to express, I can barely contain my passion. But my heart has not led me astray yet. I'll paint as it guides me. Even should I scar my work with doubt, hesitation, chaos. Certainly, that's a beauty all its own. Your life is no worse for its own scars. Your truest beauty lies in them. And I hope you tell me their story someday. tomorrow. Perfect. I got a story for you. Karu got accepted to high school. He'll be a Shujin Academy student in the spring. Thanks, man. Karu will be stoked when I tell him. He says he wants to become like you. Well, being a bro means someone will be following in your footsteps. But I can't leave everything to you. I'm the parent here, so I gotta do my job. Oh, yeah. Here. It's an EY family gecko. Take good care of it, okay? Having you around the place helped me realize times sure have changed. But I'm not going obsolete just yet. I still got more to learn, just like you. 
Looks like you got plenty of guys following your lead now. I'm real glad we met. Take care. Yo? Man, spring break's supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but instead you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. Don't even have to ask. I was already gonna do that. Spring break is gonna be boring as hell anyway. Wait a sec. Your hometown isn't near the countryside, is it? I was just thinking it'd be great to run and train somewhere out where it's all big, nature-y open space. Honestly, even with the rehab, I don't know if my leg's ever gonna be how it was before. But when I think about how much I want to run, well, I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere, but well, you could say that for any goal, right? live stuck on regrets or shame I, I'd rather just run and keep on running and hey you better practice too see if we share our times we can even compete from far away and when I think about going to school without you guys I don't know I can't imagine it it's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. And it's all thanks to you, man. From now on, I'm going to keep winning, too. If I lose, then I'll deal with it, just like you taught me. Oh, right. I returned the money, and he forgave me. We're friends now, and he's even playing gun about with me. He's still a total newbie, so I'm teaching him all the pro strats. Stress. It's not all boot camp this time. I'm going easier on him. Thanks for everything. You've helped me so much. I'm gonna give you my secret weapon. See, that's my strategy. I use this to practice at home. But these days I'm kind of too busy helping mom or playing with my friends. At first, I thought you were kind of weird, but now, uh... You seem pretty cool, so I'm still your teacher when it comes to games, but you're my teacher in real life. You're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. Wait, we're making this a series? I don't know if it'll be that big of a deal. But if I actually get this done, I guess it'd be a waste to stop at one. Makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head-on. Just like you did with that first calling card. 
Oh yeah. It's still a pretty early draft, but it'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. So, you have come to say farewell. I have some words of reflection for you in this time of parting. This twisted, broken world sought to crush you, yet you salvaged it, and with your ideals stitched it whole. You were a true trickster of this modern age, a beloved champion of a burdened public. And a man of such great heights. Well, where will his path take him next, I wonder? What further guidance do you need from me? From here on, all will unfold as you wish it. That said, should you desire me to keep watch over you, perhaps I could oblige. I have more than mere words to give you today, though. Allow me to grant you a parting gift. Not as the one who leads you, but simply as Lavenza. This is my blessing to you, to carry on your journey. confined to yourself for so long now at last it seems only right that you bear its key in the past guests of the velvet room have received their keys upon their very first visits however I was unable to pass it on to you at that point this is the least I can do for you now with this key in hand you will be able to break free of whatever trials may imprison you in the future. Though of course, you have already chosen the path of true freedom. By inspiring others to take up arms and fight for their own beliefs, you may change the world itself. You walk the path of a true trickster, May it lead you to fortune beyond imagining. Oh, it's exactly as the card said. You came to visit me. In your current state, you should be fine. Yes, I was worried about you, so... I've been receiving encouragement from my clients lately. Even though I should be the one encouraging them. Strange, isn't it? But perhaps that's the truest form of fortune-telling there is. Mutually encouraging each other to find happiness in a world full of tangled, painful fates. It's the kind of comfort I've always hoped to provide in my readings. Here, this card represents your future. Please, take it as a good luck charm. An upright fortune card represents happiness to come, but it's an omen of doom when reversed. But I know you'll carry on with the same conviction you've always had. You are never one to fear the future. That's how you manage to bring joy to any fate. So, I'm sure we'll meet again. Though, that's not based on any augury. Just a personal wish.
has... Are you really sure? Hey, um, I actually have a present for you, too. Even when I was human, I kept holding on to this for some reason. Between a cat, a human, or some kind of vehicle, it's been hard to say for sure who or what I am. But whatever else I am, I can say without a doubt, I'm your partner. Well then, we should probably go home and get packed, huh? You finished saying your goodbyes? Well, how'd it go? Did it make you feel like you want to stay? I see. I guess you did almost die. Plus, whatever other crazy stuff I don't know about. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want it getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me! I can go wherever I want all by myself! Huh, it really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said... Sojiro stupid. What? What kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to me. All right, I've been counted on. Oh, man. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So, you go do your best, too. <sighs> Thank you... for everything. Hey... You got everything? I took you in. I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. Stop it. I'd rather hear that coming from a lady. Oh, and sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning though. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing this door, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. Yeah. You over there! Hey, look this way! <laughs> <laughs> after we said hmm? we'd disband. We are all in break after all. No more entrance exams. Hmm. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? Uh. Shit. <laughs> They've even followed us here? What should we do? Need a hand? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Dr. Maruki? You're suggesting uh -huh. we split up? Hmm. Should we? Hmm. 
<laughs> Here we go. Come and get us. <laughs> Shall we then? There's no charge. Oh? If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. <laughs> Good luck. Whoa. Damn, man! Those dudes just wouldn't give up! Wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure to eat well. We'll see you. Soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. Hmm? Alright, it's time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aww, gotta go already? We don't make the train schedule. See you later, my dude! <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> you taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? Coming with you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Take care.
僕らが似